Hey guys, Sarah here. Now, if you are, say, a YouTuber, just a quick tip. If you happen to be making something for dinner and you think, oh, this would make a good video, and your kitchen is an absolute bomb site, you've been really busy all week, and you just can't be naffed, you do a video that involves just a little corner of your kitchen and all the mess you leave on the other side of the kitchen and then everyone thinks that your kitchen is clean and they know no different. Hypothetical. Macaroni cheese. This is something that will stretch over a couple of nights quite easily for us five. Sometimes I do it as a side dish next to some protein and veggies, but also you can make it a main part of the meal. You can pre-cook some cauliflower, put that into the mix. Also bacon or ham chopped up goes in really nicely with macaroni. So, but tonight I'm just going to be making just your standard plain macaroni cheese. We're just gonna have it with some veggies next to it because as I say, I'm, I'm just tired. Value brand macaroni, 500 grams. He's channeling David Bowie today. I've just got some salted. Just got some water onto the boil. Put a bit of salt into that water. Once that comes to a rolling boil, I'll chuck all that macaroni in. But I'll start doing the sauce. Now we want another saucepan. Now we want to add about three and a half tablespoons of butter into a pan. Now I should point out as well, I am making cheap macaroni cheese. You could make it tastier by adding actual butter, not Valley Brand table spread. This is how I roll. <laughs> also, when I add the cheese, let me try and put that in. I, I will be adding just Colby, because that's just, you know, the cheapest kind of cheddar. It might be easier if I just do, or should we do it together? Let's go. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, now you could, but if you want it a bit yummier, a bit more expensive, you could add a combination. I actually reckon the best is when you combine different cheeses, like if you've got, make half of it tasty cheese and half of it something like, can't even remember the name of it now, so, some other hard cheeses. Combine different cheeses into it, that makes it really, really yummy. But I am showing you just a cheap, basic recipe. I'm just gonna melt that. Melted. I love melted butter. And just some um, Pam's plain flour. We're going to add, that butter's getting all nice and soft and melty now. I'm going to add six tablespoons of flour in with the butter. And I'm going to stir it till it becomes a bit of a paste. It's looking all nice and soft. It is looking nice and soft. It's a bit plain delish, doesn't it? Yeah. Go. That water's just boiling, so. Right. To that pasty mixture. Cold. I am. Cold. It is cold because it's milk. I'm going to add two and a half cups of blue top milk. Now, with milk, I use this stuff. I use um, powdered milk. A lot of people scoff at it, but I. Actually, this is better than the more expensive brands of powdered milk, just, I find. Um, if you've tried powdered milk, and you find it's not really for you, you could even just keep it to put in things like baking, or just put it in your coffees, or try mixing it 50-50 with normal milk, and you know, just get used to it. Up to you, use it or don't. So, you're gonna tip it in there. Okay, you hold the... So only five of these. Now, we're adding two and a half cups of milk and stirring that in. Now, you don't want to tip the two and a half cups in all at once, so I've got a half cup measure that Aston is going to very kindly tip in one bit at a time and just smoosh that around so that no lumps form. So, we need five of those half cups, so another one of those, Aston. on a reasonably low heat until the sauce just kind of starts to go nice and thick and 
to add about a teaspoon of mustard. I just use that stuff. I just like the mustard. It gives a gives a little bit of a tang in amongst the uh, the cheese. Although you might find, if you're using a more expensive brand of cheese like Tasty or something, you might not need the mustard. I don't know. That's, that's, I just like it. And about a teaspoon of salt. Now this is actually a great dinner for those nights when you get, it gets to be like five o'clock and you suddenly realise you've defrosted nothing, which may or may not be me. That pasta is about done, so I'm just going to drain that into a colander. Pasta, macaroni is pasta. So you just want to turn the heat off that sauce now. And you want to measure out, so just use the value brain cheese, or whatever cheese is on special at that particular week at Pack and Save. <laughs> and um, measure out 300 grams. Now as I say, you could go a bit more expensive, a bit more gourmet. You could do 150 grams of like tasty cheese and 150 grams of other, other types of hard cheeses. Um, apparently that's how the professionals do it. Apparently, not that I'm saying I'm not completely professional in every sense of the word and have a completely clean kitchen without a great big mess over that side that I'm not showing anyone. 300 grams of Colby, that's just how I go, it's cheapest. Right, here we go. That's about 300 grams of cheese. This is not a healthy recipe. <laughs> While my professional cheese grater does some more cheese, you add the cheese into the sauce. Give that a mix up. Now, by the way, tomatoes are actually really nice in here too. Fresh, fresh chopped up tomatoes. But tomatoes, oh, grated finger is not the best idea in this. There's a basket. No, don't grate your finger. Oh, or if you got cherry tomatoes, yum. Some cherry tomatoes, a bit of cooked cauliflower, some cooked bacon, chuck it all in. Oh, yeah. And once you've got all the cheese in there and mixed in, just have a taste of the sauce. And see if you think it needs anything. If you think it needs a bit more salt, you can put a bit of pepper in if you want to. Add a little bit more mustard in, or you know, or a bit more cheese if you're that way inclined. But yeah, that's that's basically how your sauce is going to end up tasting. <laughs> dish to go in the oven to pull the macaroni which is now hardened <laughs> hang on I'll do that again like a professional you think I'm gonna look professional yes. you are someone's got faith at least now. faith at my preschool faith yes faith is a girl at preschool there we go dip the sauce on top of the macaroni As you saw, I found a couple of tomatoes that needed using, so yay, I chucked them in. So, now, before I put that in the oven, just to finish off, breadcrumbs and grated cheese. I just use the end crust bit on the bread. If you're like me and you make your own bread, there's always the awkward crust bits at the end that, this is actually a bit big, I could cut another slice with that, but I'm just gonna grate this up. If you grate all of your um, bread crusts, you can freeze them. You can just put them in a bag in the freezer and just open up the bag and grab out handfuls as needed. There we go. That is now ready to stick in the oven. So I'll just put that in the oven about 175 degrees for about 20 minutes until just until the top goes nice and crunchy. Right, so there we go. Just pulled that baby out of the oven. Yum! Made all of that for about $5.50. So that is a yummy big dish full. Give it a go. 
hit the like button, hit subscribe, leave me a comment, love getting comments, have fun out there and make macaroni.